No, the thumbnail's not clickbait. And no, I'm just not trying to put a title to get views. This is a theory that I'm proposing, but I think it's well founded. And we are going to find out that this is the creation of mutants throughout the MCU. But before I do, if you are enjoying the content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notification. So let me not waste your time. So I believe in episode eight, when we see Wanda create her house from that pain, that shockwave that we see creates Westview, I believe it went throughout the whole world. And that is how we have the creation of mutants. Even Agatha, when she's talking, she says she was drawn to that energy. I believe the energy went throughout the whole earth and that's how she ended up feeling that energy. We have to understand that the events that we're seeing is not even a month after everyone's return. So when this power goes, not everyone is going to sense it. Some will sense it. I believe we're going to see that energy that Wanda put out is going to come out in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I believe it's going to come out in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. The repercussions of Wanda's pain, of Wanda's sorrow, are going to be the catalyst for this Phase 4. I still believe she is going to end up being a anti-villain or a full-on villain for a short while because of that pain. Because no one came to help her. Everyone was using her was manipulating her. I am well aware that everyone since Disney bought out Fox to get the rights back for many Marvel characters, everyone's been waiting for that comic accurate saying when she's gonna say, in the comics she says no more mutants, which that makes 90% of the mutants disappear. And a lot, of the, a, lot, a lot of people are confusing the comic books for the MCU. I've said it before in many videos, the MCU adapts storylines. It doesn't just plagiarize it and throws it in there. So everybody's expecting her to say some corny line like, oh, now let there be mutants. She doesn't even know what mutants are. How is she going to say that? So we have to pinpoint a event that creates it. When we, got, when we get introduced to, to WandaVision, she's just protecting what she already created. It's not that burst that we see where it's all raw emotion. She's not controlling any of that. As we see with her surprise of what her, her soul wanted was to bring vision back. And in that energy, I think that engulfed the earth and activated that X chromosome, if you will, or that X gene. That is the moment that created the mutants and allow them to now enter into the MCU. And we're gonna see that, like I said earlier, in upcoming Disney Plus and actual movies where, that, where people are gonna start awakening these powers. The more I contemplated it, the more my mind just focused and said, this is the creation of mutants. Tell me if I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. I think I'm going down the right avenue because again, everyone is expecting her to say something or create some kind or, or just say a phrase that's mimicking the comics, but that's not what they do. Yes, they do shots like when we saw in Civil War that are like the comic, but they're not just going to grab the storyline or, or a line or something, you know, so blatant and copy it and say, oh, I'm going to put this in the movie. And, or in the show and then make everyone happy. No, they're going to grab the idea. And if you take yourself away and, and ask yourself, well, if it's not going to be the way the comic books say it, how can Wanda accomplish the same thing? And in that scene, I believe we got the creation of the mutants. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Am I crazy? Am I looking too much into it? So let me know, like always, that's a wrap.